Hey guys on here, welcome back. Today we got our first teaser trailer for the live action Minecraft movie. I say live action because I don't know, I don't really know what they would do. This is something that I've been pondering ever since this was announced. What is it going to look like? Because I know Jack Black was cast and Jason Momoa was cast. You know, I think Jack Black was cast as Steve. But I was just like, okay, if it's live action, if we're adapting it like to look real, is it just going to be regular trees? Or are we going to try to like somehow make these shapes out of real animals or what is a real giant blocky pixel wolf look like in real life i don't i don't know we haven't seen anything about this <laughs> up until this point and it's really kind of boggled my mind before we get into this i do want to clarify i've probably only ever played maybe 10 minutes of minecraft and it's just it's just not for me i've watched way more Minecraft get played than I have ever attempted to play it. It's just these types of games are really up my alley, but just sheer curiosity of what this movie could even be is the reason I, I'm here to check this out. With that all said, let's see what the heck this looks like. And then again, it is a teaser, who knows? We may see absolutely nothing, but let's go. Wait, is this an isekai? <laughs> I mean, what else would it be, I guess? Interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm with her on that one. Oh my God. Did he just say skadoo? <laughs> Creeper. Oh, yo. Who are you? I am Steve. <sighs> okay. Oh, this guy is such a tool bag. I love when he said that, like it was this major reveal, and then there's just silence and a cow mooing in the distance. April 4th, day after my birthday. What a present, what a gift. All right, I mean, as far as like the, let's go back to here. Uh, no, not this one, uh, right here. The geometry looks really well done, looks nice, looks spot on. It basically looks like if, cause I've seen some people play with this, like it's, it, it definitely looks like um, the like the high resolution texture mods and stuff like that that I that I've seen or the uh with RTX on with the lighting and all that like where it looks like above and beyond what you're used to or at least what I usually envision when thinking of Minecraft it very much so echoes a lot of that aesthetic you know everything's blocked in those perfect squares all the buildings the terrain all of it there appears to be some liberties taken here and there with what should or should not be physically possible within the game but one thing that of, of note i want to come back to you can see it in the trees there's like a rounded nature to everything you know it's not perfectly cubicle and when it gets to the animals that's when it gets real weird <laughs> Like it's still got the cubicle elements of it, but there's still a little bit of this reality creeping in. So it's like a little bit of a hybrid, a little bit of hybrid between live action and just these little block beasts. And it creates this abomination right here. I mean, I don't know what you could do. When they say live action Minecraft, I literally had no idea how to expect this to look. It does look like a, a happy medium. I would not call this live action. Looking at it, quite obviously, the only live action element in this is quite obviously just the people. But somehow, I guess a group of players or something get isekai into the Minecraft universe through this nether portal that we saw them. The opening of it was them like approaching it and it looks like it does in the game until it transitions to the other side and then they're, they're here. The way they did the building too was interesting. They just threw a couple of bits on the little crafting mat. 
smack and bam there it is now i don't know if like any of this is going to be sets because a lot of what we've seen so far looks like they're just on a green screen or whatever when J jason momoa is doing his little crafting scene like we kind of see here and when jack black is being introduced like the back little wall behind him that little ledge kind of looks like it's actually there so i don't know if there's is like an amalgamation built into this by nature or or what exactly but uh I'm, i don't know man i'm just really baffled and curious about this film and how it's going to operate and function but then we see this here obviously this had been mined away or well hacked away and the little material mat pops up here for you to nab and they just kind of pick it up then we got Steve's Lava Chicken. Oh, the fucking naming schemes and the flags and everything like that. I forget what these dudes are called. I apologize. Got a creeper sneaking up on Jason Momoa. And then Jack Black as Steve. Obviously the default avatar for the game. And that's another thing I was going to say. I was like, uh, like it, with Steve being in the game, were they just going to make him a dude or were they going to make him also cubicle like everything else? Because he is. He should be. But they didn't hear. So it makes me wonder like what, if he's going to have some kind of weird origin where he was lost in this place long ago and somehow we've been controlling him or I don't know. I don't know what the, I, don't, I really don't know what to expect with this movie. Like what's the plot? Is it simply... Take out the Ender Dragon. We got this wolf howling at the moon. I'm just skimming. Yeah, man. It's interesting. There's it's it's an interesting idea. <laughs> but for actual people who love this game and play it to death, how is this going to translate? We got Jack Black heading yet another iconic video game series. And I know some people are getting very fatigued with seeing him and a couple other people just constantly popping up end on end on end in all these projects i love the man but yeah it is just like damn he's like in everything what's the consensus how's everybody feeling i i feel like i'm gonna have to at least watch this out of some sense of morbid curiosity but yeah guys i'll pass it off to you what do you guys think how are we feeling Sound off in the comments let me know your thoughts down below we'll carry the conversation after the video hope you enjoy the reaction if it did Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherritt, Yorick, Horace Scott, Melito, Rubber, Unguionu, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.